Now, wait a minute, Gildersleeve. The doctor hasn't given permission to anybody to leave yet. Well, by George, I'm leaving anyway. My business is going to rack and ruin while I... Take your hand off of that door now, Mr. Gildersleeve, or you'll regret it. We'll all regret it. I won't do it. I've been cooped up here for a week, and I'm going to leave right now. Don't you dare open that door, Gildersleeve. I will, too. We bring you tonight's exciting story, The Bid for Freedom. Twenty twenty, a year of change and tragedy. A year when a pandemic locked us down, but the world kept on trying to turn around. We had to stay at home, watching summer come and go by the window after being furloughed, as well as the lives of so many who should never have had to go. The masked world kept burning as the politicians began churning out policies to save the economy, once the lockdown was no longer an novelty. Forget staying in, forget the deaths, forget the virus. Now let's eat out to help out, go to university, and return to normality. As long as we all stand two metres apart, everything will be fine, and we can hit restart. The lockdown was over, and it was time for a new chapter. Moving to a new town for the university experience. Although it didn't last long after a second wave of the virus hit, <laughs> and everything went back to being. A trip to the beach on a packed train with the house brought back 14 days of isolation. Trapped inside with strangers who quickly became good friends, as we were all in it together. After two weeks, we were free again for a brief moment, before November came with a kick to the teeth, staying in again, as the country went back to being frozen. Back to a lonely education online, trying to keep fit inside, doing a degree from a bedroom before getting dressed up to go downstairs to socialise with a few people we knew. Christmas, weekly virus tests became the norm, and we could finally go home and reunite with our families for a quiet holiday period, hoping that a vaccine might bring about a new dawn. A new year came, and with it the vaccine, meaning that the vulnerable and elderly could finally breathe easy, although the road to recovery would be far from easy. When it comes to this pandemic, Nothing is easy. On January the 13th, 2021, the UK officially passed 100,000 coronavirus deaths. It was a dark day and a stark reminder that the hurt caused by the virus will never go away. Although those that were lost will be remembered and the incredible work done by our carers will be remembered. And in the future, once the virus is finally beaten, we will all remember. As the vaccines roll out and the hobbies return, as the beers are poured at pubs and people meet for the first time in a year, we look to an uncertain future. As the sun sets with both hope and fear.